The Ford Racing M2300S Brake Upgrade Kit is intended for 05 to 14 Mustang GTs and V6s that don't have factory Brembos. The kit consists of black powder coated four piston Brembo calipers that were found on the 07 to 12 GT500, along with a new set of pads, 14 inch front rotors, new front brake dust shields, a new set of rear brake pads to match the front, and a set of four braided stainless brake lines. Now this kit will give you a much more sure-footed feel in your braking performance both on the street and the track. And the installation, it's not too bad either. Lift and support the rear of your Mustang and remove the rear wheels. Start with the passenger rear. Remove the brake caliper to bracket bolts. Slide the caliper off the pads. Remove the stock pads from the bracket and install the new Ford Racing pads. If needed, compress the caliper piston and reinstall the brake caliper. Using a tubing wrench, break loose the hard line from the hose. Remove the ABS sensor wire retaining clip and remove the brake hose bracket bolt. With a drain pan in place to catch the brake fluid, remove the banjo bolt from the caliper and hose. Attach the new bracket to the supplied braided stainless hose with the supplied E-clip. Bolt the bracket into place. Using the supplied banjo bolt and copper washers, install the new braided stainless hose to the caliper. Transfer the hard line from the old hose to the new stainless hose. Reattach the ABS wire clip and zip tie the ABS wire to the new brake hose. With the help of a friend, bleed the brake caliper until no air is present. Top off the brake master cylinder with the appropriate DOT3 brake fluid. Repeat all these steps for the driver's side rear. Reinstall the rear wheels and lower the rear of the car. Raise and support the front of your Mustang and remove the front wheels. You'll want to start with the passenger side of your car, but for this video, we're going to illustrate all the steps on the driver's side. Remove the caliper bracket to spindle bolts and remove the caliper assembly from the rotor. Remove the two rotor retaining clips and slide the rotor off the hub. Remove the dust shield retaining bolts and the dust shield. Slide your new dust shield in position and tighten it down to the spindle. For the driver's side only, you'll need to remove the alternator splash shield to access the brake hose. Pop the ABS sensor wire loose. Remove the brake hose bracket bolt from the frame and from the strut. Slide your new 14-inch rotor and Brembo caliper assembly into place and install the caliper to the spindle with new bolts. Install the new brake hose to the supplied bracket with an E-clip and install the new hose to the strut with the old retaining bolt. Using the supplied banjo bolt and copper washers, put the new braided hose on the Brembo caliper. Transfer the brake hard line from the old brake hose to the new braided stainless hose. Install the brake hose bracket to frame bolt. For the driver's side only, you'll need to reinstall the alternator splash shield. You'll start by bleeding the passenger front outer bleeder on the caliper first, then the inner bleeder. Then move to the driver's side and do the same. Top off your master cylinder with the appropriate DOT3 brake fluid. Reinstall the front wheels and lower your Mustang. At a minimum, you'll need to step up to an 18 inch wheel to clear these massive front brakes. However, if you like going to the drag strip from time to time, our 17 inch SVE drag front runners will clear this brake kit with no problem. Because you're using factory installed components for a brake upgrade, there won't be any problem finding replacement pads and rotors later down the road, plus there's no shortage of upgrades available either. You can pick up a brake kit at your source for Ford Racing Performance Parts, LateModelRestoration.com.